Hey, so first, before we do this video, this video is a little bit different than the last, most recent videos. I'd like to start with, do not bid on any <laughs> eBay stuff. Not just me, but like anything on eBay. Don't bid on something if you don't have the money or if you don't intend to buy it. For every last person over the past like four weeks since I've been doing this, every time you bid on something and you win the bid, and then you tell me you're not gonna buy it, I, I don't even play around. I just straight ban you from ever bidding on anything on my eBay account. So don't do that. Now, why this is different. I usually list one binder at a time. This time I'm listing all three binders under one listing because these binders are flimsy binders. The stuff in them is still good, but the binders themselves are flimsy. So this time instead of me sitting in the usual bubble wrap, I mean, they'll still be protected as I can, they're going to be in a USPS flat rate box along with padding to keep them from sliding around. So this is the contents of what you're bidding on in terms of all three of these binders. I am taking a bit of a risk because there's always that chance that the people on eBay aren't going to watch the video and they're not going to see that, you know, I'll try and do the description as best as I can. but. You know, the, the bid is for all three binders, not just for one. Hopefully we don't run into any issues. Um, also, it speeds things up. As I said, I do apologize. I know some people, or I, I think most people prefer, at least my viewers prefer me to do these one binder at a time, because it at least gives them more of a financial opportunity to win versus when I do it to where, what I'm doing now, it's where it's gonna be all three binders. You know, this eBay listing could be upwards in the 300 to $500 range, maybe even higher, who knows. Um, I don't do reserves, and right now the bids are aggressive because um, I have to limit my eBay listings to three days because we're about to move. So I'm in the mix of making these eBay listings and these videos and sorting the cards to do this, but then also I'm in the mix of packing the cards up right for movement along with all my other things that need to be packed. Uh, in order for me to move to my next location. So this is a bit of a hassle, but that is why um, the bids are now only three days. So that's binder one, moving into binder two. And again, now you can kind of see why I was saying that for all three binders, we could probably see, you know, probably even above the, the $500 range um, in terms of this listing and the ebay listing will be in the description of this video now granted if you are seeing this video within the first like five minutes of it being uploaded to youtube the ebay listing probably won't be in the description yet because uh, i have to wait for the video to be uploaded to youtube and then i can make the ebay listing because then i finally have the youtube link and then i can take the youtube link and i can put it in the ebay description so anyone from who's not subscribed to the channel can click on it to just come over and see what's in the ebay listing they're bidding on and in order for me to put the ebay listing into the description of this video i have to wait till this video is complete and uploaded as i said so then i can add it to the ebay listing and then when i complete the ebay listing then i can copy and paste the ebay listing for this specific thing to come over. Generally, I do it within just a couple of minutes of after the video is uploaded. It's all a matter of how long it takes for the video to be uploaded, along with all a matter of how long it takes me to create the eBay listing. Generally, the eBay listing doesn't take too, too long to make. It's mainly the video itself, and not making the video takes a long time, but I am shooting these videos at 60 frames per second in 4K, and then I'm also uploading them from the same device, and all this is being done from my iPhone 12. Um, so it does take a good bit for uh, my iPhone 12 Pro to uh, process all that data and do it all at once. Along with, I'm also doing the eBay listing as well um, from, see this binder is just a little bit messed up in terms of the ring doesn't exactly connect. You're gonna wanna replace these. Uh, at least you're, you're going to replace at least this one with your own binder uh, because of that uh, small um, ring issue. It's not too, too big of a deal. You just got to make sure you turn it from the bottom, but it's always something, you know, you can avoid by 
getting binders. Really where I get most of my binders now, just to save time and money, because I usually go there anyway, because it's right next to my gym. I just get my binders from Goodwill, usually the cheapest, usually there's nothing wrong with them. This binder wasn't a binder I got from Goodwill, this was a binder from someone that I, when I bought their set from, I, I kept the binder uh, so I could use it to as a resale, and here we are now. Uh, again, I'm just trying to get some things that are extra and unneeded. I've got a lot of my cards already prepped to go to various graders. Uh, the only graders I use right now are BGS, PSA, and CGC. The only one I have used is PSA. I've, I've yet to use BGS or CGC. In my honest opinion, now I have had BGS cards on my in my shop. Um, and honestly, I, I like the BGS cards the most because it actually tells you what you're looking at in terms of you know, why they gave the rating. And that completes this video. So the eBay link will be in the description. And... Uh, Bidding will start at a penny. This is for all three of the binders you just saw, and uh, good luck.